Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perna. Sagittarius, whew, this is your reading for the week of May 30th through June 5th. I'm gonna lose you. It's a song. Okay. Is that the song? Let's see. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm gonna lose you. It's a song. All right. There, there is a sense with you this week, um, Sagittarius, of putting your heart and soul into everything that you do. Work, exercise, meditation, like love, everything. There is like almost this um this full blown passion that has come up or has come out from within you where you are living life literally to its fullest and you're giving all of you into everything that you're doing. And for for some of you Sagittarius, it's like you really may not know where things are headed with like a specific person or where things are headed when it comes to work or where things are headed in any direction. You're just kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to live today like if it was my last day. I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to love. I'm going to just embrace everything that is life. And this may be something that is completely new to you guys or this is something this may be an energy where you've been trying to get back into it where you're not just you feel like you feel like you're living life with a purpose you feel like you have a purpose you feel like everything that you do every step that you take every word that you say everything that you think everything that you do is with intention towards something and it is quite beautiful to be around you this week. So you're going to find yourself in situations this week where people are gravitating towards you, even if they don't say anything. It's like people just want to be in your presence this week because of the way that you are embracing and enjoying life this week. So this is a week where you're coming up like almost like as the high priestess energy um but also combined with like this emperor type of energy where you are in control you are in a sense or in a position of power when it comes to your life and that is radiating from all areas of your life For some of you, this has a lot to do with a lot of self-love and self-care. Maybe this is getting to that point where you are putting yourself first. Um, either after a breakup, either after a loss of some kind. It's almost like there is a full circle here, but the full circle is coming like as a half circle so it's like you have two half circles one on top of the other so for some of you is rediscovering that self-love with yourself and literally putting yourself first because there is an investment here when it comes to love but it's it's not coming in as like an investment in, like in someone else but more an investment in yourself it's like the love that you want to receive from a relationship, from a partner you're giving to yourself because you know that that's going to allow you to attract somebody that's going to love you the way that you love yourself. So th there is this sense of like, you're not sitting, let's put it this way, in regret or anything like that anymore, Sagittarius. You're allowing things to just kind of be, and you're allowing to accept, you're allowing yourself to go with the flow and not fight the current anymore. And this brings in this profound peace and kind of serenity to your life that then allows you to literally fall in love with life. Fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with what it is that you do. Fall in love with your hobbies. Fall in love with work. Where 
it, it's almost like this this week is going to be more of a blissful type of week for you which is quite beautiful any little hiccups or any little distractions or little things that may pop up during the week which they may not be a lot just like little things where like waking up one day a little later than what you should have things like little like that but it's like you're not letting those little things get to you there is a sense of being more in control of your emotions regardless of how you're feeling like you're not allowing yourself to react instead you are responding in a way that allows you to attract what it is that you want so now i want you to go ahead and ask a question sagittarius Your answer is simply no. There's no ifs, buts, or anything about it. There's something here that is a simple no. So if you are asking if something is coming through this week, or if you're asking whatever it is that you're asking, your answer is no. Um, it could be that it's not for you at this moment, or maybe right now it's not the time to go for this or to start this. Let's get an advice oracle card for Sagittarius Spirit. One card for Sagittarius. And the card that felt fell off. It was just one, yeah. Is gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. Number 36. And this definitely, again comes into play with the way that you're feeling this week with the way that you are embracing life it's like you're finally realizing that nobody or no one or anything outside of you can come and fix you no one or anything outside of you can make you feel any type of way um you have the power to do that and realizing that this week really does excuse me really does allow you to embrace life to its fullest to really Feel that love, like coming from God, coming from spirit, and that connection that you have to everything in the universe. Well, Sash, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, guys, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel as well as donating. And if you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It definitely helps to get the video out there for more people. Um, if you would like a personal reading, the link to my website is down below in the description along with all the links to all of my social media accounts. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Sun keeps on wanting to play for you. Um, sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Bye-bye.